great work, Fisher. Now find out what's in it. I could open it. And you could play Russian roulette with a clip-loading pistol. Where's your sense of humor? What is up everybody ladies and gentlemen it's your boy seven thank you guys so much for checking out the video I'm so glad to be hosting you guys let me just thank you guys so much for 201 subscribers I started this YouTube channel maybe what three four years ago five years ago maybe but it's only recently maybe about a year or so ago during the COVID lockdown uh, that I decided you know what man I've always wanted to be a YouTuber YouTubing is something that I've always found to be fun and I said you know what I've got the PC I've got the equipment I've got the stuff I've got the resources let's do it man and I started uploading videos man so I started uploading things like apex legends and you know some news video vi news videos here and there some super smash brothers ultimate and uh you know my channel it, it took off and and my channel i remember when i was at 60 subscribers man i remember when, when i was at five and i remember when i was at eight so um i just want to thank you guys so much thank you guys so much for supporting that youtube channel um you know and i haven't uploaded in a little while um uh, but that's because i've been you know been dealing with finals but doing what i've been a little bit sick in fact you might be able to tell that i'm a little bit sick from my voice um but dealing with finals i got university i'm a full-time university student i don't even work um, um, you know, I'm taking like 13, 15, you know, credit hours uh, at a time and all these labs and things like that. So, yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for, for uh, enjoying the channel. And um, I hope that I can really take this channel in some awesome directions in the upcoming year. So uh, thank you guys so much for that. Um, but I want to get to the news of today because this is some awesome news. Uh, I have always been a Splinter Cell uh, diehard fan ever since the original Splinter Cell game. Uh, I got my first Splinter Cell game, if I'm being totally honest, was Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. Um, but the original trilogy is is like the sweet spot for me like the original i have the original i have pandora tomorrow and i have chaos theory um i have double agent maybe somewhere i don't have no idea it's somewhere in my house um for the original uh for the xbox 360 and for the original xbox but for a while ubisoft has not made a, a splinter cell game they've kind of shied away from the idea of making one they've talked about it here and there um they've mentioned it on and off here and there um but i think one of the reasons why they haven't really announced one is uh, actually i'm going to get into that in a minute but let me just get into what they're going to be making making here so ubisoft toronto yesterday uh, announced that they greenlit a new splinter cell game now you might be thinking oh so it's like a sequel to blacklist you, maybe it's a sequel to i, I don't know maybe it's you know maybe you probably think it's gonna be open world you know i think i saw a rumor the other day that it's gonna be open world um or something man but um no it turns out that ubisoft is going to be kind of going back to the roots they're going to be remaking the original ubi uh splinter cell game spell uh, self-redefined and i know what you're probably thinking you're probably thinking oh my god you're probably groaning you're like oh oh my god come on bro like why are you remastering a game we don't want to remaster like we play the game already make something new and you're probably thinking like it's a you know it's a rockstar you know kind of troll where you be you know where rockstar you know they just keep keep remaking um uh, or they keep remaking or re remastering different gta games and just keep putting them out and they keep trolling the whole fan base um but no um it turns out that this might actually be some really good news ubisoft is going to be remaking splinter cell stealth redefined the original splinter cell remake making so not remastering right and i'm gonna get into the difference between remake versus remaster and uh i'll kind of go into like sort of an interview uh with uh some of the developers that are going to be working on it or with some of the folks that are you know uh head at ubisoft or whatever um but yeah so basically a remake a remaster we, we all used to remasters remasters are basically like redo the graphics and put it out there right um that's basically what a remaster is maybe you know do some fine tuning here and there get rid of some bugs and then that's it uh but guys do you ever do you guys remember the assassin's creed original trip trilogy remaster or no the Ezio trilogy remaster that was one of the most hilarious like hilarious absolutely hilarious remasters that i've ever seen totally worthless ubisoft is horrible with remasters just horrible track record you know they just they basically put a filter on the game and called it a remaster but um yeah thankfully this is not gonna be a remaster it's gonna be a complete remake and so what they mean by remake is uh one of the developers he said that a remake to me uh takes what you do in a remaster it goes a little bit further the original splinter cell has a lot that was amazing and revolutionary at that time that it came out 19 years ago and that's amazing the original splinter cell game came out 20 years ago man that's unreal and then uh anyway so he said you know the gaming public now has an even more refined palette now so i think it kind of has to be a remake as opposed to a remaster although we're still in a very early stage of development what we're trying to do is make sure the spirit of the early games remains intact and in all the ways that gave early splinter cell its identity right and so that 
that's what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for a game. So if you're gonna remake a game, I'm looking for something where you don't scrap everything, you don't reinvent the wheel, but you keep the spirit, right? You do some, you, maybe you, you do some, you, you keep the keep the spirit of the game, keep the spirit of the game intact, right? Keep it in mind as you're making this game. And I feel like, especially with Assassin's Creed, they've lost that. Um, you know, Assassin's Creed, it's no Assassin's Creed is not Assassin's Creed anymore. It hasn't been Assassin's Creed for maybe at least like three years or maybe a little longer. Um, and I don't want that to happen to Splinter Cell. So the fact that they're being so careful with the Splinter Cell genre, the Splinter Cell genre and the Splinter Cell franchise shows to me that they really do care. And that's why I think that this Splinter Cell uh, remake is going to be a good thing, right? Because I think one of the reasons why Ubisoft has been so just so hesitant to sort of make a new Splinter Cell game or, or sort of like talk about what they want to do is because they've been worried about are we going to mess this up are we going to turn this into another failure franchise and i'm sorry to all you assassin's creed people and far cry people hold on before you get mad far cry 5 and far cry 6 are absolutely amazing but i feel like some of the games in between there before that not been so great in assassin's creed in my opinion it's not that the games are bad it's just that they're not assassin's creed anymore man they've lost their uh they lost their identity and i don't know why they call them assassin's creed anymore you know it's so funny um prince of persia went from being prince of persia to basically just becoming assassin's creed um, and then I hear now Assassin's Creed is kind of evolving to something else. Um, and I, I don't know when it's going to just drop the label for Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I still have some Assassin's Creed references and all that kind of stuff. But it's not Assassin's Creed anymore. Like, don't don't kid yourself. Um, and so I don't want them to do that to Splinter Cell. And so I think Ubisoft, if you look at some of the older uh, interviews from maybe, you know, two, three years ago or even a year ago by like the CEO and, and different people um, about, what, about what they're doing with Splinter Cell. And you could tell by, I think it was the CEO, he was basically saying like, I don't know what... We, we're trying to th thread the the needle of like can we make something revolutionary while also keeping the spirit of the game alive right and keeping the sort of uh fans the old school fans interested while also maybe bringing in some new fans right and so um he just seems so hesitant he's like i don't know what we want to do with this franchise i don't know where we want to take this right and i don't want to make a game that's bad right so that's what it seemed like the ceo was saying and i don't remember where that article was but he this is something maybe a year or two ago he said um and it seems kind of like they're going they're pushing ahead with this idea in mind that we're not going to reinvent the wheel we're not going to make a completely uh sort of uh, we're not going to keep going in the direction that splinter cell has been going we're not going to make an open world we're not going to do all this crazy stuff to it in fact i think i saw a rumor the other day um that the new splinter cell is going to be open world before this news came out um so anyways guys i forgot i keep forgetting i haven't even given you guys all the information so what they did say about this game is that yes it's going to keep the original splinter cell spirit intact which is absolutely amazing it's absolutely what you would want from a remake of the original splinter cell right so um they said that they want to do they want to see what they could do with shadows with the new technology with stealth and all that awesome stuff that we miss about the original splinter cell game and this is the big thing for me they said that it's going to be linear right the level design is going to be linear just like it was for the original games that's an absolute quote that is a quote from one of the developers here that they're going they're going to keep it linear like the original games were and that's what i love that's what i was looking forward to i did not know how i was going to take a splinter cell that was completely open world right and so I'm, I'm happy with what they're doing right i think yes ubisoft probably has not been had the best track record for when it comes to remasters or just you know treating their franchises uh you know in a way that's well honestly bro look man you can hate me all you want but rainbow six siege um look rainbow six the original rainbow six i really loved rainbow six siege the original maybe the first two years of rainbow six siege were amazing but rainbow six siege is devolving it's it's turning into something else it's not even rainbow six siege anymore it's not even rainbow six it's something totally crazy um you know especially with the extinction and, and you know these new games and all this stuff that they're, they're coming out with um so ubisoft has a they, they have a history of taking stuff and just like flipping it on his head and they also in a way that's not very positive in my opinion things like assassin's creed you know like they have a history of making games lose their identity right and one of the only games that i i that i see how ubisoft has not fully done that with is far cry and assassin and uh splinter cell and so um so yeah i'm looking forward to it and i think that they could really do some great stuff with it i think that there's more of a chance that since they're just remaking the original splinter cell and they're just trying to build it from the ground up and just sort of i, I can't wait guys this is going to be absolutely amazing can you imagine the original splinter cell with all of the lighting all of the graphics all of the shadows and totally new environment totally new ai totally new enemies all that new stuff you know as sort of like a remake imagine that stuff man there's no way that they can go wrong they're 
using the original Splinter Cell as a blueprint, and that's what I love, right? So bravo to Ubisoft for making the step. They said that they're gonna make a new Splinter Cell. They're remaking it. I'll take it, man. If it was something totally brand new, I'd be scared, man. I would really be worried uh, that they're gonna mess up Splinter Cell. And I'm glad that they're kind of backtracking and they're saying, you know what? Blacklist didn't really uh, hit it with fans. Conviction didn't really hit it with fans. In my opinion, Double Agent didn't really hit it with fans. And we're going to go back to the basics. And that's what I love. And I wish that they would do that with Assassin's Creed and just take the new technology that we have in 2021 and remake the original Assassin's Creed. Remake Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed, re like keep the same storyline, but just remake the environment, remake everything and just make it a fun experience. And I hope that that's what they do with Assassin's Creed. Hope they keep the cat and mouse gameplay, the linear gameplay. That's what I loved, right? I miss those types of games. Open world isn't everything, man. It really isn't. And so I'm glad that they're not going in that direction. But um, so anyway, I, I think what they're going to do before I, I'll end it here, but I think what they're going to do is they're looking to see, is this what fans want? And if this is what fans want, they're probably going to keep making Splinter Cell games after this. They're going to bounce pad. They're going to use this remake and say, this is what fans like. This is what fans did like. We're going to go forward, right? And I'm looking forward to that. And I think we're at a new era where we're going to have new set Splinter Cell games. And that's awesome. And I do think that Micro Ironside is back. Um, so that's a positive. And uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, it's been a while. I'm a little sick, but thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm super interested, man. I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think they should leave Splinter Cell in the past? Do you think they should do a remake? Or do you think they should do a remaster? Do you think they should just sort of catapult off of what Blacklist and Conviction left us with? Do you think they should? Uh, what, what do you think they're going to do, right? So let me know what you think in the comment section. It's your boy Seven. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. And uh, let's see how this goes, man. And I'm out. Peace.